everyone i want to show you guys quickly as you know this is the samsung um ativ also is known as the xe500 this is the actual this is actually running windows um 8 uh 32 bit version uh, it's got the slim design as you can see there i want to show you guys what i want to show you some have you asked uh, how well it does in graphics and producing so what i've done i've loaded up uh, uh cyberlink as you can see it's, it's pretty it's very fluid um it's got the Samsung applications. Oops, let me to click that on there. As you can see here, it's got the S Note, S Player, and it's also got. Uh, let me go back to the home screen. The Mini S Note as well here loaded up. But let me uh, show you guys quick. Let me see if I can bring this up. Maybe that's a. Oh, not get you guys not too much glare on there. Hopefully that's good for you guys. Let me start up. Uh, Cyberlink here. Give you guys a quick look. Okay, let me take these out. Delete from disk. Okay, I don't need those pictures. All right. All righty then. Okay, let's open up. I just got another video I had previous done. It's the one for the Surface tablet. So I'll go ahead and import this in here. And um, this is actually, let me see, this is a 10 minute video. Maybe I'll cut it down. I don't know, just cut it down to eight minutes or so. Okay. So let's see, that's at a minute. So now let's go to, let's see if you are going to produce it. Click on this. We'll do an ABC, which is an H.264. I'll leave everything at, let's do uh, 1060i. I'll do that um, 1920 at 28 megabits per second. Give it a lower ratio there. And uh, we'll just do this as a test and then we'll save it to, let me save it to the same videos. Uh, and we'll call this one test. Okay. And then we'll leave that fast rendering video here technology. And we'll go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and hit produce. And we'll see what I'll do. As you can see here, it's uh, it's processing the video. I'll go ahead and pause this, and then uh, we'll see how long this takes. Uh, on this right now, it is uh, ten fifty nine. So we'll see. Actually, and we'll see how fast it records. Um, like I can see, like I said, it's eleven there, and we'll see how long it takes. It's saying that it's take it'll take nine minutes to do that. Uh, that file is 1.7 gigabytes total so we'll see what it renders it's not bad i guess i i do these in my toshiba as well it's already at six percent so i'll go ahead and pause this and then i'll continue it and see how it turns out okay we'll be uh, right back went ahead and it rendered a movie here it took 15 minutes to do that um I believe it was nine minutes and 33 second video so I guess it's not bad um, for doing that type of video here on this let's see I'll go ahead and go back to that would be nice also the other thing you can have is if you already have your titles and anything that you have ready to go <clears throat> you can just uh, put those um, let me see We can use Power DVD for this. Alright, everyone, if you want to take a quick look at full screen. So, place it that one. Let me see if I can open it up also on um, open with uh, this video. 
video player. This is the Windows 8 video player. Let's see how it plays on this one as well. That's the Xbox they have. Let's see if it... It probably doesn't want to play with this one. It doesn't give me a choice here. It, so it plays only on the on this other video. I was trying to see if we can open it up with the uh, Windows Video. Let me see if I can choose the... Uh, we can go to Windows... Uh, Windows Media Player. As you can see, it's playing very nicely, very smooth. It, it did everything on there. Just so you guys can take a look. So it does a very good job. Uh, this is a 10-minute video. So if you were out doing something really quick, uh, this would make a nice uh, quick video editor. Like if you're out and about for like a quick five, four or five-minute video. It does quickly, does render it. So it does work using Cyberlink. Um, if you guys want to give this a try, if you guys got the XE500, you guys can try with Cyberlink to edit videos. Uh, I do recommend that you already have your uh, videos or your any uh, tags and things like that already pre done under. Uh, I'm going to show you guys real quick on the timeline here under your titles because what I did notice is that when I do bring in the title block here I can bring this one in the, the existing one but if I try to edit it it does kind of lock it up so let me oops let me take that one out and let me go just do a quick one uh, I'll bring this these are just kind of like the default ones I'll put it here and then um let me see if I'll let me render here. We'll, we'll play it here. And then you can see over here. Let me put this on here so you guys can see. So I, I hit play. It's got a pause so far right now. It hasn't done anything yet. And I believe it's due to the me dropping in the title block. So... So it doesn't seem like it would play that. So basically, probably if you already wanted the title, as you can see, it does pause when it has to do titles. So if you already knew your title, where you're gonna set it, drop them in. Uh, you can probably render that movie already with the title blocks, because then you can go to produce. And that way you don't have to do the play this in here and I'll just go ahead and burn the the title I'll go ahead let me see I'll, I'll show you guys real quick as well let me go back over here and what I'll do is we'll do um, I'll just do a four minute here Remove it. So I'll, I'll remove that. And make sure I get all this over here as well. We'll hit delete on that one. Remove. Hit remove. So okay. So now we have a quick video here with the title let's say that was your title block already and we'll, we'll put some um, let's see I'll put some uh, just like I'll put this blizzard down here I'll add it here at the end and then we'll go ahead and produce it and I'll call this one test 2 just so you guys can take a look that you know it's it's able to do all this Let me see you guys right there. And we'll name this one. 
test two. Uh, well, I'll go ahead and leave it at the same thing, 1080p, and then we'll go ahead and start it. This shouldn't take too long. Again, I'll go ahead and pause it. It's got uh, it's only like four minute video, so this should be actually able to do it very quickly. It's rendering there, as you can see down here. And then it should start doing the rest up here.